Right, hello wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday. And we're very familiar with the wines from Han. And uh, most people don't know, you know, they just sold this Mayomi label for $300 million to Constellation. The Han Winery, one of the most technologically advanced wineries in California. They produce a lot of the Mayomi. This wine just absolutely mind-blowing. The Santa Lucia Highlands Pinot Noir for the money. We try to keep this in the shop at all times because at around 20 bucks, you can't beat this wine. If you like this California-style Pinot, this lovely cherry pie fruit, and uh, all the wines from Hondo, incredible values. And that 2013 Pinot Gris uh, is what we started out today. Very fresh and clean bouquet, Asian pear, pretty white, white flowers. Very simple, but very pleasant, light and refreshing wine on the palate. That juicy pear fruit and tangerine-like citrus on the finish. A good little Pinot Gris for $14. All right, the Santa Lucia Highland Chardonnay. This wine stirred on the leaves to give it a little extra richness mostly from Lone Oak Vineyard, one of their vineyard sites that they own and all sustainably farmed. Classic St. Lucia Highlands Chardonnay, a nice amount of that lemon drop candy fruit, white flowers, some green apple Jolly Rancher candy, a little bit of cinnamon spice and vanilla bean, smooth and creamy on the tongue, layers of that rich ripe tropical fruit and a nice touch of toasty oak spice. They're a very good little wine, around $20, also great value. The Pinot Noir St. Lucia Highland, Lone Oak, Smith and Doctor's Vineyard fruit in this wine, beautiful core of red cherry pie fruit, tropical mango-like character coming out in this wine, pretty floral notes, a touch of brown spices, really smooth and silky on the texture, that lovely rich ripe breadberry fruit and a nice candied note to the finish there, excellent juice, like I said, at $20. One of the best values you'll find in the Pinot Noir section, other than the Lucienne, which is their Santa Lucia Highland single vineyard wine, the furthest to the south, uh, has Calera and Giardini clone, and uh, this wine's very bright and a high tone with a really rich concentrated black cherry fruit in the bouquet, some dark spices, a bit of earth, a really nice intensity on the nose, some nice smoky notes. This wine's very thick and juicy on the tongue. You notice that velvety, silky texture, some of the things we love about Pinot Noir, some tannins here, but a very elegant wine, pretty floral notes, exotic spices, most excellent juice at $37.50. Wow, just some great values in this line. Like the Smith & Hook Cabernet Central Coast, 100% Cabernet, and uh, mainly from Paso Robles in San Antonio Valley. Sweet tobacco spice, lovely rich ripe cherry, dark currant fruit, uh, black raspberry, very forward and seductive wine with some black earth and dark chocolate showing up there as well. Sweet juicy fruit on the tongue, soft round tannins, a nice amount of that spice, the tobacco and bitter chocolate on the finish, a very good little value of 2025. And then the GSM, blend of Syrah, Grenache, and Movedra, a very fresh berry pie fruit here on this one, floral perfume, white pepper spice, really rich fruit here showing on the tongue, that ripe red berry pie fruit, and uh, really nice freshness, those floral notes from the nose showing on the finish. Lots of mass appeal here, another great little value, very good juice here from Han Vineyards. Uh, that's what we had to drink with our friends from Han. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.